Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been nursing a nasty, nasty cold. Luckily, not of the corona type. Uh, so on today's episode, we're going to get you all brought up to speed on the explosion of news that has hit the play table. So grab some popcorn and come gather around the table. Let's find out what's new on the play table. So some huge news coming just a few weeks ago from the Play Table team. They've announced that they've teamed up with Reiner Knizia, multiple award-winning game designer who holds many global licenses such as Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Lego, Star Trek, Star Wars, and some Disney items. So they have over 600 games and books in multiple countries and have won multiple awards. So we can only hope that some of these hot licenses make their way to the play table sometime in 2020 and beyond. So some of the rumored games to hit the play table are Ra, Modern Art, Lost Cities, Axio, Medici, Blue Moon City, Abandoned Ship, and Tigris and Euphrates. And these games should start heading our way beginning early 2020 and beyond. This is a big, big win for the Play Table team and will hopefully be the start of more game developers hopping on board to this great piece of hardware. So next, I am happy to confirm that Play Table is working on carrying cases for the Play Table. I don't have much detail on this, but there is hope that sometime soon we will have some sort of protection to protect this beautiful piece of hardware. They're also working on expanding the customized toys, which will hopefully be available soon. I know many of you are itching to get your hands on these so you can actually play Battle Grid. So stay tuned for more information on that. And finally, let's talk about the explosion of games that were recently added to the marketplace. First one being Pong. I was very excited to hear about Pong hitting the play table. A simple and familiar game where two players battle to knock a, a pixel back and forth and try to get this pixel or ball or Pong past the other player and scoring a point. If any of you aren't familiar with Pong, then, well, I'm sorry. So the next game is 1010. 1010 is a kind of a block puzzle kind of game that plays similar to Tetris in some ways where it asks players to complete rows and columns of blocks to score points. I will say this game is very very addicting so if you have played why don't you shoot on down to the comment section down below and let me know what your high score is. Now we'll be able to tell who the pro gamers really are. Bam Fu is a fast and furious battle over territory in which players touch various tiles to turn them to your team color and eventually take control of the board. The key in this game is that upon touching the tile, it cycles through the various team colors of the teams you're playing against. So the point of this is to change the tile to your team color but watch out because you might give another player the win while you're busily tapping away. Splody is a game of calculated chaos and a bit like Bomberman and Minesweeper mixed together. So various players move across the board by placing bombs and spreading their territory out in order to blow up or explode the other player. Very, very addicting and fun game and you can play it with multiple people. So the last game I'm super excited about, 8-Minute Empire. 8-Minute Empire is a fast-paced game where players draw cards and play cities and armies across a map. Players earn points for territory control and resource collection. Very fun game. Think mm, Civilization on steroids. And the awesome thing about 8-Minute Empire is the title. Each game plays around 8 minutes long. So a very quick game fast pace, and a lot of fun to play. So that's it for the news this week. Let's take a look at the marketplace, which we haven't seen in quite a few weeks, to see what's new. As of today, March 3rd, 2020. So first off in the strategy section, we've got the above mentioned eight minute empire at 8,000 PTC. Again, if you're a Playtable Pro member, 
you could get that baby for free. Ticket to ride, 15,000 PTC. 1010, marked at zero PTC. Burgle Brothers, 15,000 PTC. Catan, 15,000 PTC. Feud, 5,000 PTC. I didn't happen to mention this in this game in my update, but Hearts and Skulls, zero PTC. We'll talk about that next time. Nika, 15,000 PTC. Orc Genocide, 10,000 PTC. Think Dice, zero PTC. Tower Madness, 5,000 PTC. And Turning, zero PTC. Let's take the quick jump over to the classic game section. If you remember from our last video, spades, checkers, chess, and hearts hit all at zero PTC. The game of 49, 15,000 PTC. Pong, zero PTC. On to the party games, 12 orbits at zero PTC. The wild and crazy Bamfu at 5,000 PTC. Gentlemen at 5,000 PTC. Mucho Party at 5,000 PTC. 10,000 PTC for Realistic Summer Sports Simulator. 5,000 PTC for the above mentioned Splody. On to the family games, you've got Kodomi at zero PTC. Remember with Kodomi, Playtable is offering a first year free membership to Kodomi. After that, there is a small membership free to use the content. On to the laboratory. We're gonna finalize with Battle Grid at zero PTC. And don't worry, those toys are coming soon. So as you can see, the Playtable marketplace is growing. Good things are coming, so hang in there. Thanks for watching this episode. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time around the table.